Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to Madam Shafina. My name is Nurul Akila binti Giman. I am from CS 2504B. So today I would like to present my mini project which is the Smart Heart Sensor. Okay, now let's move on to the first part which is the introduction. Okay, so basically it is very significant for athletes and patient or any other human beings to monitor the heart rate since it provides the information about the health of the heart. Okay, so heart rate may be measured in a variety of methods and it also comes in a variety of devices such as smartwatch, smartphone, chest strap and so on. So in the medical field, usually the heartbeat is expressed as beats per minute which is the BPM. Okay, so the problem that I have seen in the real world today is there is a very insufficient manpower and technical expertise in dealing with heart-related issues. The next one is we always witness a very lengthy waiting time or queue, especially at the government hospital. And the last one is that the fact that the existing devices such as Apple Watch, Mi Band are very expensive, especially for those who cannot afford uh, the devices. So by having this smart heart sensor, it only causes for RM50 ringgit and below, which is quite affordable for anyone who can afford that price. Okay, now let's take a look at the three main objectives that I want and needs to achieve for this project. So for the first one is to design a small device for people to check their heart rate regularly. So the second one is to develop a heart rate sensor by using IoT device. And the last one is to create a real-time monitor graph for users to check their heart rate. Okay, now let's take a look at the significance for this project. So basically, this project proposed a heart rate monitoring detection system by using IoT. Okay, so nowadays, treatment for the most of the heart-related disease require continuous as well as long-term, which means the user or the patient or maybe the athletes needs to check their heart rate regularly. So this IoT is very useful in this aspect as it replaces the conventional monitoring system. In addition, the nurse or the GTT doctor, the coach or maybe the user itself can monitor their heart rate of the patient or maybe they are themselves in the serial monitor through the real-time monitoring system. So in this project, I have provided a ThinkSpeak website which uh, the user, the doctor, or anyone can actually monitor their heart rate anytime or anywhere they want. Okay, now I will explain the components needed in this project. So, first of all, there is one node MCU, one pulse sensor, one breadboard, one green LED, one 220 ohm resistor, and a few of male female jumper wires. Okay, as for the connection, I have connected from the positive leg of the LED to the GND at the node MCU and then I have connected the negative leg of the LED to the D1 at the node MCU. Okay, however for the pulse sensor, I have connected from the analog signal of the pulse sensor to the A0 at the node MCU and then for the VCC at the pulse sensor, I have connected it to the port 3 volt at the node MCU and the last one for the GND of the pulse sensor, I've connected it to the GND of the node MCU. Okay, now I will explain for the coding part. Okay, so first of all, here are all the libraries that need to be included so that we can use it afterward. So next, to define the onboard LED2, it is used to indicate when the process of connecting to a Wi-Fi router and when there is a client request. Okay, so next for the constant char SSID and constant char password, it is for us to put our Wi-Fi name and also our Wi-Fi password. Okay, so here are all the declaration of the variables. Okay, so for our first function or our first subroutine, it is void handle root. It is to execute when the node MCU is open in the browser. Okay. The second function or the second subroutine is void handle heart rate. Okay, so this subroutine is to execute when there is a request from the browser or client and it will send or display the PPM value to the browser. Okay, for the third 
subroutine output function it is the void get heart rate okay so this subroutine is to read the heart rate and calculate it to get the bpm value however in order for us to get the bpm value it will only be based on a heart rate reading for 10 seconds okay so here is the process to get the ppm value okay next for the void setup this is where we need to include all our setup code here to run one okay so first of all this is to connect our MCU to the wi-fi router and then we will wait for the connection okay during the process of connecting to the wi-fi router the led will turn on However, if we have successfully connected to the Wi-Fi router, the LED on board will turn off and the IP address that we, that we will be visited is displayed in the serial monitor. So, it will display like this. Okay. Next, we will call the subroutine that we have made previously. Okay, the last one is void loop. This is to put all our main code to run repeatedly. Okay, so first one is to handle the crime request. Then we will call the get heart rate subroutine. Okay, so here is to start printing on call sensor value on LCD or at the serial monitor. Okay, for the things pick dot write field here, it is to actually send the data received to the things pick. Okay, so that's all for the coding. Thank you. Okay, now I will explain for the index.h library. This is actually the coding for the simple HTML website. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we will proceed to the index.h library. This is actually uh, the coding for the simple HTML website. So here I have included a simple CSS style. Okay, let's carry. Okay, now let's take a look at the index.h library. So, in this library, it contains the simple coding for the simple HTML website. So, first of all, I have included the CSS style. And then, I have included the JavaScript in order to create a loop to send a request to Node MCU to get the BPM value every one second. Okay, so this is the function for sending the request to MCU in order to get the PPM value. Okay, below here, this is the function to display the PPM value and create a circle progress bar. And then below here, and the last one below here, this is to create the scale from the PPM value to the progress bar value. So that's all for the index.h coding. Okay, now I will show you the demonstration. So first of all, I have connected the Node MCU by using USB micro B cable to the laptop in order to receive the power supply. Okay, so first of all, we need to lay on one of our finger onto the power sensor here. Okay, as you can see, the BPM here is 6 and it will automatically turn into 6 at the HTML website. At the same time, the graph editing speed will continue to plot the graph. This value is just based on the serial monitor, which is the pulse sensor value received by the pulse sensor. Okay, now let's take a look at the ThingView application to see if the graph is similar to the ThingSpeak. So click on the ThingView application, click on the patient heart rate. Okay, so here is the graph. So we can just click on the graph. Okay, so here we can see that the graph is similar to the ThingSpeak at the desktop. However, by using uh, this ThingView application, the doctor or the user able to see their first heart rate receive. So there will be also the date and also the time. Okay, they also can see the minimum heart rate, the maximum heart rate, and also the last heart rate received by the user. Okay, so actually this application really helps them in order to view their graph or to view their current data wherever or anywhere they want. 
as long as they have the internet connection. So that's all for the demonstration. Okay, so that's all for my presentation. Thank you, madam, and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.